Hello, welcome to this Python tutorial. Today we'll be looking at bouncing a ball and we're going to use it by drawing. Firstly, we're going to draw a canvas and then we're going to draw the ball and then we're going to bounce, move the ball and have it ricocheting and bouncing off the sides of the wall, off the sides of the canvas. So, um, what we're going to do firstly is import the module and then we're going to go through the steps I just described. So the first thing we do is we import a toolkit called tkinter and we're going to do we're going to have tkr short and then we're going to import the time module so that uh, we can we can make the so you will find out later on but what will happen is if you don't have the time module it will just whiz across the screen so you need to delay it so that it's actual proper smooth movement so first thing we do is we need to create the canvas so there is my doc string so we're going to use we get the tk function from um tkinter and we're going to have that as tk for short because t can't get much shorter than tk then we're going to create our canvas and we're going to say it is equal to tkinter dot canvas and we specify uh, the width and the height very simple and then we put it to a grid then we're going to uh, draw the ball now here so what we're saying here is we've um, on the ca canvas we're going to create an oval and it's going to start, let's have it starting a bit closer in, 5 from the x and 5 from the y. So you have the top left corner as 0, 0. You have 5 along and then 5 down. And that is where the, um, the ball uh, circle will start. So that's where the drawing will start. And then you have the size of it's going to be 60, um, you know, the diameter it's going to be 60. And then we're going to fill it with a light blue color so you can see the ball. And you can change color if you wanted. You could have um, yellow, you know, blue, dark blue, and so on. We're just going to have uh, light blue. And then that is the ball drawn. So now we specify the ball, we put that equal to ball. So we're going to just have to reference the ball and then it, we know it will do all that. So I'll come back onto this a bit later on. So then we're going to move the ball. And we have this while true statement. So while so we're going to have the if two if statements within the while true statement and so while those if statements are true those if statements happen while the, while it's true while that condition while the condition of true is met the if statements will happen so let me just unblock these if statements so we're saying so we're saying canvas so we're selecting the canvas again, and we're going to move, dot move, it's a, it's a function in itself, the ball, and then x speed, the speed in the x, and the speed, well, well x direction and y direction, essentially. So this, if we go up here, you had, I had the x and y hash, um, hashtagged out. So that's why I specified at the top x equals 1 and y equals 4. So this is the speed it's going in the x direction and in the y direction. So I've said for every 1 in the so it's going for every 1 in the x direction it's going 3 in the y direction so it's going to go pretty steep down. Not, not hugely steep. And then we have a position here which I just um, 
which is a statement, which is a function itself. So you have a position statement, and it's kind of like a list where the first position, the, the zero, zero, the origin is left. Position number one is top. Position number two is right. Position number three is bottom. So if we're specifying the position on the canvas, it, you know, zero is left, left, the left wall. Top is the the top wall. Right is the right wall. And bottom is the bottom wall. However, we're using position in this case to log the coordinates of the ball, not the not the canvas. So in this case, we're we're typing in uh, position equals canvas dot um, coordinates, and we're trying to find that. We're finding. We're basically printing out. We're getting the. Sorry, we're basically getting the uh, position of the ball. And then after that is where the if statements come in. So up above at the top, we define the width and the height, and we just say if position three, which is the bottom, is greater than or equal to the height. So basically, i.e., if it hits the bottom end of the window. Or if position one is, or basically if it if it hits the top, then we're basically reversing the y speeds. So then it comes back down and goes back up. And then we're doing exactly the same for the x. So then so if it hits the wall, it goes like that. If it, if it hits the other wall, its its speed is directly reversed. And then we get it to update so that it can run in sort of a loop. And then between each one, it's going to uh, sleep. So this is where we use our time function to make sure that it doesn't just whiz across the screen and you can't see anything. So we slow it down a bit so you can see each movement and it'll be quite smooth because you know, it has quick, computers have quick processing speed. And then down here, it's, just, it's gonna loop. <coughs> So this updates, so the tk.update updates the coordinates and positions, and then the tk.main loop loops, loops it. So all that's left to do now is run it. And then we, so if you see here, we have to go to a toolbar and open a separate window because tkint opens in a separate window, and as you can see, the ball is bouncing on the screen. Off the sides, this is where this statement's coming in. So now we've done a very simple, yet pretty awesome animation. I hope you've enjoyed that video. And there will be a part two of this where we really get the ball to bounce, because at the moment it's following a, a straight trajectory every time. So we want it to really go bows, and we want to include things like gravity and friction and maybe even air resistance. So that will be coming up in one of my videos. Um, subscribe if you like it and <clears throat> please do watch more of my videos if you really enjoy this sort of thing. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.